guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Phil Beck TV Team Bex. Are you there? My people today. I'm going to buy baby DM for the very first time. So since I gave birth, my mom has been here and she has always been the one buffing baby. But now she's gone. Oh. And I'm the one to buff baby the Ghanaian traditional way. Tim Fell will bring me baby. Mm. Mm. So yes. we'll witness it today. Whether she will do it right or we we'll call my point. in -law. We did our point. Okay. I am a fast learner. Yeah. Right? Take baby. Yeah. So guys, I want to take you through the things we use for the traditional bathing. Traditional way. You need your kitchen stool. I have my bath here, but normally, basically, they use a basin. Yes, but me, modernized basin. I'm using the baby bath. Yes, I have a bucket here with this with hot water. This for cold water. And I have my soap and my sponge here. The hair wash. I have my disinfectant. So I have this basket here. I have the pomade and the comb and diaper. Anything you want to use for baby. I've kept it special in this basket. So I put this here so that I'll rest my foot on it. But normally if I was using the basin, like the basin would have really supported my feet. But since I'm not using basin, and I'm improvising using the bath. This is how I'm going to start a little disinfectant to baby's water. And because this is hot water, I will dilute it with cold water to so a temperature that will be okay to bath baby. But normally, the water they use for the head is a bit hotter than the body, so I'll bath the head first. Just wetting the head before I use the shampoo. Wow. You can either use your hand or the sponge. So either this or your sponge. So when you are done, you rinse. You rinse. You rinse. So any reason why you do start with the head first? That's the order. Like when you are bathing, you bath your head before you go to your body. So basically, oh, he just read on me, not on me, onto the floor. <laughs> so now we're going to start with the body. We we'll start from the back. So I will further dilute the water. Now the weather is very warm. So you don't want to bath baby very warm water. By the time you finish, baby will be sweating and all that. If your baby's neck has pulled, you can use your thumb and then your index finger to sort of clean it. Yeah. Baby is happy having his what I learned from my mom is that after every wash, you rinse before you move to the next place you want to wash. So after the back, you rinse. So maybe you don't have the soap going to places you don't want it to go. Basically. So now we will do the chest area. Yeah. When baby was very young, like a month or two. <laughs> Like this would be a tug of war. <laughs> Baby will be crying when my mom needs to bath him. But now he has grown, he enjoys bathing. So if you have a newborn who cries when bathing, I, I believe it's normal. As as time goes by, he will get used, he or she will get used to By the time you finish bathing for baby. You would have finished butter your thighs. So when you go to the washroom, you just have to wash your top. 
I mean, how can you say that? I, <laughs> I can't hold this one. I have to laugh. Well, guys, I believe I've tried. Oh, let me know in the comment section if I tried. First time, bathing baby. First time, mom. So, Charlie, you can learn and then if any additions, let us know in the comment section. Yay. All right, I also, also know from those in the diaspora if they can let us know how they bath their newborn babies in the comment section. I want, like, we all want to learn actually. I really want to know how they go about bathing their babies so they grow here yeah, so that we can all learn together. So, for the face, I'll use a wet towel to clean it with no soap. Mm. and if you are raising the head you have to make sure take notice of the ear so that you don't end up putting water into the ears of the baby. I remember my mom used to do uh, this <laughs> let me try and see if I can do baby is now big <laughs> so you'll be pressing your yeah, massage baby <laughs> When you ask him, said to strengthen the bones and to strengthen the legs. So I'm also doing that. <laughs> and then you come to the feet. <laughs> so guys, I believe this is what makes the Ghanaian way of buffing our babies so unique. The pressing and the massaging and the bones. You know, our mothers have a very wild ideas about... <laughs> Why they do certain things for the baby? So I believe that's what made us all strong. Like you go up and you feel like you are strong, yeah, energetic and all that. It was from your bed. And then after, they would turn you over. And then they go to the arm. All part of the massaging and hey, bro. <laughs> and then when you do this, they said they are widening your waist. <laughs> yeah, by <bye> with this. <laughs> and then they'll come to the leg again. Shout out to our mothers and our grandmothers. They do all. I have remembered one. They will push the waters up like this, your bum bum. <laughs> they say because they don't want your bum bum to sag. So they will push it up so that it doesn't sag. It will be firm and be standing. <laughs> so guys, finally I'm done with baby. So I'll clean baby's mouth because this had sablon in it and it's not good for it to enter your mouth. I'll use water from the cold where it doesn't have any um, disinfectant in it and I'll use it to clean baby's mouth with my index finger he's just trying to bite my finger can you imagine <laughs> yeah. all right one thing about this bath is you have to wear something that is up so short sneaker you can wrap a wrapper and you pull it to the top for baby so i'm coming to comment him i'm using share butter i want massage when they are young they'll use the share butter to massage baby and they'll be pulling and they'll be doing like the way i was massaging when i was bathing by the time baby will finish baby is tired and he will sleep like he will sleep while he will be wondering why, why is baby sleeping after bed? I need a massage now the amount of one that crank and your baby Baby is also saying something. If somebody can translate it for me, like I will be very happy, but I really want to understand it. <laughs> So 
So my mom would always say that babies have to smell babyish, babyish. Yeah. So she, she likes spraying baby after bathing, even when baby is not going anywhere. It's that when somebody comes and takes baby, baby has to be smelling baby, baby. You can use this whole thing to spray baby for one day. But see, she she doesn't take your baby when your baby is not smelling nice. So when she takes your baby and your baby is not smelling nice, she'll give your baby back to you. <laughs> That's how come she always makes sure her babies are smelling nice. So she'll get a colon and then shoop, 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 shoop. Baby is smelling nice. Mm-mm-mm-mm. I want to say a very big shout out to iCrystal Jewelries. Yes, I got this gift from them during my baby DM's naming ceremony. I want to say a very, very big thank you. I want to unbox it and then see the goodies inside. We'll leave their flyer and number on the screen so that you can contact them for your affordable and quality jewelries trust them when it comes to jewelry let's see what is in this goodie box Ta -da! i'll bring them out one by one Woo! i love this guys this is very beautiful in fact i'm in love with this watch i wear it forever and ever thank you i crystal wow I just love this. Very simple. Charlie, she knows my taste too. Very simple. I like simple things because simplicity is beautiful. Yeah, this is very nice. It comes with eight bracelets. Voila! Oh my goodness. This is so, so beautiful. Let me just strap this on and let's see how it looks. Oh my god, can you see this? Very simple, nice. Imagine this going with your necklace. Oh my god. Guys, don't forget to hit them up with your orders and they will sort you out. To all our subscribers, kudos, we love you. And to our new viewers, don't forget to subscribe, hit on the notification button, comment and share. We out.